In this video, we're going to find the equation of a line in point-slope form that passes through the points negative 2, 6, and 5, 1. The first step in solving this problem is remembering what point-slope form is. What's the general form? What do the equations look like? And of course, from our notes, we remember that point-slope form is y minus y1 equals x m times x minus x1. And so the only portion of solving this problem that could pose any difficulty is finding the m, because the y1 and the x1 are simply the x and the y coordinates from either one of your points. It doesn't matter which one you plug in, they will both work. So to find the slope, the m value that we're missing, we have to remember that the slope is given by the equation m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And if we plug in our specific values, remember that x, I'm sorry, negative 2 is our x1, 6 is our y1, 5 is our x2, and 1 is our y2 we now can plug in these values to this equation. So y2 is 1 minus y1 which is 6 divided by x2 which is 5 minus x1 which is negative 2. Notice plugging in the negative 2 I did use parentheses so that I realized that with two negatives here will eventually yield a positive. 1 minus 6 does give me negative 5 and 5 minus negative 2, if I could change this minus sign to a plus, allows me to change this negative to a plus as well. So it yields 5 plus 2, which does give me 7. So our slope then is negative 5 sevenths. So to, to solve this problem, the last step is to simply plug in all of our information. Okay? I'm going to use this first point. I'm going to use this first point to illustrate what we do with a negative coordinate. Here, I could simply use the positive ones, but I do want to illustrate what we do with the negative, so I'll choose the first point. Although it would be easier to choose the second point. So we go ahead and plug in our values. Remember, negative 2 is our x value, 6 is our y value, our slope is negative 5 sevenths. y remains y minus your y value, which is 6, equals the slope, which is negative 5 sevenths, times x. Now, the key here is remembering that it's a minus and then again a negative 2. So again, I'm going to put that negative 2 in parentheses just so I don't write two negative signs next to each other. I can further simplify this. y minus 6 is equal to negative 5 sevenths x and then the two negatives do give me a positive, so it will be a plus 2. So it's important to remember that if it's in the coordinate, if it's negative, it becomes positive in the equation. If it's positive in the coordinate, it remains negative in the equation, and that's based on the general form. But this is our answer. We are finished at this point. We've given you the equation of a line in point-slope form that passes through these two points.